Hi, this is part 5 of a recorded webcast presented by Les Allen to customers and partners wanting to get started with Sage Simply Accounting Intelligence, Sage's powerful Excel-based reporting tool that helps you make sense of your data. In this section, he explains how to run and use the standard sales analysis report. Enjoy! One of the strengths of Sage Simply Accounting Intelligence is that the information you need is delivered directly into Excel so that it can be further analyzed. As a standard, we provide templates with a general layout for each report, however, this may not exactly meet your particular requirements. How do we go about changing these particular layouts to represent the data in the way that you would like to see? In just a few moments, I'm going to show you how to access the Report Manager module, and it's in there that we can update a report to have a new customized template. For this particular example, I'm going to use the sales analysis report and bring through a year's worth of data. The information is being pulled directly from Sage Simply Accounting directly into my Excel layout. Once there, I'm going to make certain changes to the layout of the report so that it's best suited for my needs. One of the things that we've done as far as each of the reports is concerned is that we've created some layouts for you using standard Excel functionality that's available to anybody. So when your screens update now, you'll be looking at a sales report that uses what's called a pivot table. Pivot table is a standard but powerful function inside of Excel that helps you reorganize your data to see it easily in different ways. Here we've got a sales report showing the customer name by product code there are my sales quantities, stocking unit quantities, average selling price, freight, total sales, total cost, gross profit percentage. That's a report that most companies would be very, very happy to see. Not me. I want to take a look at a bit more information that might be available as far as this report is concerned. So what I'm going to do is, inside the pivot table, you can reorganize the data that you currently see, but you can also add and remove data. So I'm letting everybody's screens update now. And when your screens update, you'll see over on the right-hand side that I've got a pivot table field list. Again, this is standard functionality that's inside the report that we give you. There's a bit more information that we can actually draw on. We haven't included every piece of information in the standard, in the standard layout, but you can bring that information in if you like like invoice number. You can see that invoice number is the very first field over there in the top right hand side. Let me simply drag invoice number down and put it between my customer and my product. When your screens update you'll now see that I've got by customer, by invoice number, what products they purchased. Maybe I don't want to see freight in this particular report. Maybe I don't want to see my average selling cost or average units. I can drag those fields away. Once I've created my layout, it's very simple to save this layout. First thing I'm going to do is just do a bit of formatting here. Okay. A little bit of formatting, and then I'm going to let everybody's screens update. So all I've done is given my invoice number column a bit of formatting so I can actually see it, that it runs in line with everything else on my sheet. Now, I'm going to move back to my Report Manager module. One of the things to understand about our standard reports, the reports that we give you, is that each of the reports is locked. You can run them by all means, but changing the settings on the report, we've set them up in such a way that we know what to expect as far as the report runs out. Can you modify what reports are combined in the dashboard? Absolutely you can, Gary. I'll show you exactly how we can do that. It's a very simple process. You'll see that each of the reports that you can see on your screen right now have a little lock symbol. Indeed, if you have a look at the, uh, the property side, on the right-hand side, first line, this report has been locked with the unlock on copy option switch on. If you want to edit this report, by all means, simply make a copy of it. I'm going to right-click on the report, and I'm going to select the copy option. Now, the copy option will take a copy of that report with all of its settings, with the Excel template that's currently attached to it and make a brand new instance of that report. So in my demonstration folder, I'm going to right click and paste. Your screens will be updating now. 
and you'll see that in the demonstration folder, I now have a report called Copy of Sales Analysis Report. So it's exactly the same as the sales analysis report that we give you, but now it's entirely up to you to do whatever you like to this report. You can see over on the right hand side, you now have access to look at the properties, look at the columns, parameters, filters, etc. And you can start changing these things around. The first thing I'm going to do is change the name of this sales report. I don't want copy of sales analysis. I'm going to call it my super sales analysis report. Nothing necessarily super about it, I just like my ego. So I've renamed my super sales analysis report. You'll, you know, you'll all see now that your screens have updated, the report's now been called something else. And you can do that process as many times as you like. How many people want to see the sales report in different ways? Keep copying, pasting, and changing each of those reports. The principle that I just demonstrated there applies to any report that we give you, including your financial report. Take our financial report, copy it, generate layouts. Once you've generated them, you've made changes to the sheets, this is what you're going to do. On my super analysis report, super sales analysis report, I'm going to right click and I'm going to use the function called create and link template. You'll see in the background that there is a template attached to this report. Let me actually highlight it for you so it's easy to see. The report has an Excel template attached. What this means is any changes you make to the report can be saved in that template. So the work that you are doing for two, five, ten hours a month, two days a month, doesn't have to be redone. You simply do the work in Excel and you do this create and link process and your template will be updated with your changes. So let me take you through that process. I'm simply going to right click on my report and select create and link template. The first thing it's going to give me is an option for all of my available Excel reports. Now there are three reports available for me. The sales analysis report is there. That's the one that I've just changed. That's the one that I've modified. That is the version that I want to make for my report. I'm going to run through a couple of options here very quickly. And when you check the video, please check the video to see exactly what I did in real time. It was a very simple process, it was just a couple of questions about whether I wanted to update this template with these particular changes. My template has been created and linked successfully. That's all it took. I took one of the standard reports, ran it out, made changes to it. You can insert your company logos. You can change the color scheme on your pivot tables. You can do whatever you like to this report. It's your Excel file. Once you're done with that, create and link the template so that file saves back to your template. And that's the way we're going to see it every time we run the report. So I'm going to select my super sales analysis report. I'm going to run it. Now your screens are not going to update while I'm running the report itself. Joanne sent through a question, can I add other fields to it? Absolutely. Joanne, you can add other fields as long as they're fields that we've made available for you in Report Manager module. If there's something outside of what we've made available for you, then you'll need the advanced module to start looking at other aspects of the data. But absolutely, we can add more information to this table. Most definitely. Moira sent through a question. When you rename the report, the template automatically changes its name. Correct. So when I make a copy of the report, it will move through and change the name of the report. The template also renames. If I rename the report again, the template will update and change that name. It will actually give me the option. Would I like to assign the new name to the report to the template? So you actually have that option. Thanks very much for the questions, Joanne and Moira. On your screen right now, I can see that it's updated. You're now looking at that invoice number column that I've added to the pivot table. That's the way that I want my report to look. That's the way that's going to be. Thanks for taking the time to find out more about Sage Simply Accounting Intelligence. To buy or learn more, please call the relevant number on your screen. Visit www.simplyaccounting.com forward slash intelligence or contact the Sage Simply Accounting team at 1-800-665-8805.
We trust that this product will save you time and money and prove very useful in providing you with meaningful, timely information to improve your decision making.